Hey guys, welcome to my new Blender tutorial. In this video, I will show how to make Christmas tree with Blender. Let's get started. So friends, after finish video, I will share project files for download. Well, after opening Blender, click General and select this camera, delete, light, delete, and select this cube. Let's select move tool and move to up. Then click this icon for C lines and go to edit mode. Okay, click here loop cut and let's add one loop cut here and one here. Okay, click this icon. Nice. And then click this icon for select vertex and click move tool. Let's select these points and move to up. Okay, and then go to click this icon for modifiers and click here, select subdivision surface, chain labels viewport 2. Okay, and in this time, let's select these points and move to down. Okay, select these points, hold shift, select this and move to right. Okay, and select this three points let's move to left okay and let's select these points move to up okay not bad again select these three points and let's move to like this okay let's again select these points let's this move right and this Move to left. Okay, then let's click this icon and select this point. Let's move to right like this and select this point. Let's click this icon and move to left. Also click this icon again. And okay, that's good. So let's again select these three points. Let's try move to up. Okay, and select these points, move to left, and these points, move to right. And select this, also move to right. Okay, and this. Okay, not bad. So let's try again, select these points, move to left, and these points, move to right. Okay, and click this icon for level viewport 3, and go to object mode. For smooth object, let's right mouse, shade smooth. Okay, so friends, let's again back to edit mode and... Let's click this icon. Okay, and I want to select this. And let's move to left. And select this, move to right. For smooth object. Okay. That's good. Click here. Select this point. Also, let's move to left and move to up. And this point. Okay, not bad. So, let's click object mode. Okay, in this time, let's select this cube model and go to click material. Let's click base color and select color green. And click this icon for C shading. Let's change color like this. Okay, not bad. And select this model. Let's duplicate this object. Control C and Control V. Then move to up and click S for scale. Change scale like this. Also, we can enable scale with this icon. Okay, let's again Control C, Control V and move to up. Then click scale. 
And let's scale like this. Okay, that's good. So select these three objects, move to up. And let's go to add mesh and let's create new cylinder. Okay, click scale. Let's scale object. And let's go to edit mode. Okay. And let's click this icon. Select this face. And go to here. Select this extra region. Let's hold this icon. Select this extra region. And extra like this. Okay. Then click scale tool and let's scale like this. Again, go to here, hold this and select this external region. Let's extra like this. Okay, nice. And let's click A for select all face and click scale. Let's scale like this and let's move to up. Okay, in this time, let's click this icon, select these points, and move to down. Okay, nice. Let's click A again, click scale. Let's try to change scale like this. Okay, and again, select these points. Let's try move to up. Okay, not bad. So, let's go to here, click object mode, select this object, go to click material icon, click new, and base color, let's select brown. Okay, not bad. And go to add mesh and create new plane. And select this scale, scale like this. Okay, and let's go to material, click new, and let's select material, let's select yellow. Okay, nice. So I want to change this object again. Let's click S, change scale. Okay, so that's good, yes. And select these three models. Move to down. Okay, not bad. So in this time, go to click here, render properties, and change cycle, device, GPU, and click checkbox for denoise, and go to word properties, change color purple. Click render icon. Okay. Okay, so in this time, let's add some lighting. Go to add and go to light. Let's create new area light. And move to up. Let's change size. Let's click this icon for close render view. And change light size. And click rotation icon. Let's hold control and chain rotation like this. Okay, and let's move right, move to down. Okay, and let's go to light and change light settings 2000. And color, let's open here, select blue color. And in this time, let's control C, control V for this light. Let's move to left and select rotate tool. Let's hold control again, rotate. Okay, and select this light, go to light settings, change color to red. Okay, so click render icon. Okay, let's select this light and go to light settings, change this 5000 and select this light, change also 5000 
and select this object plane go to material and change color to white or blue okay and select this light let's move to light this and this light move to here and in this time let's select this plane press s change scale and let's select this plane let's click this icon for viewport shading and go to edit mode select this icon for choose edge select this edge and click a for extrude and click x okay click enter then again click a for extrude and click z like this okay then click this edge and go to bevel let's bevel like this and change bevel segments for smooth okay click this bevel settings we can go to bevel settings here okay and go to edit click object mode then select this plane and move to here like this for endless background okay let's see and let's select this plane again let's click scale and scale like this okay click this render shading okay nice so let's select these lights and move to back and this light and let's change size also this change size then ctrl c ctrl v for duplicate light move to center click rotation tool and let's rotate this light okay click move tool and it's moved up like this okay not bad let's select this light also move to right for hide these shadows okay very nice okay nice also let's make toys go to add mesh and uv sphere and let's click this icon and go to here enable cavity press s change scale okay and go to edit mode select this face select this icon for select faces and hold alt click here for select all faces and let's click a for extrude and uh, extrude like this okay nice then let's click loop cut and let's hold left mouse and move up again hold left mouse move to here for smooth again make someone okay let's add here again and here and here okay so back to object mode and right mouse shade smooth okay that's good so in this time let's go to add mesh and create new torus move to up click s change scale okay let's click s change scale like this and select rotate tool it's rotation okay and let's move to up 
And let's control C, control V for duplicate, move to down, click rotation tool, let's rotate. Okay, and select move tool, let's move to down. Okay, again, control C, control V, move to down and chain rotation. Okay, that's good. So, select these toys objects and let's right mouse and move to collection. Let's create new collection, add the name toy, click OK. Select this toy collection, let's open inside it, select these games objects and chain scale. OK, let's move to down here. Press S, change scale also. Okay, let's move to here. Move to back. Again, press S, change scale. Okay, not bad. And let's make duplicates. Okay, let's back to again render shading. And select this model. Let's go to material. Let's create new material and select color Maybe pink Or this red Okay, select again this change metallic For reflection Okay, let's play settings. Okay, this is not bad. Let's change roughness a little bit. Nice. So, select these other toys and go to here. Let's use material 5. And this, select this, go to material. 5 and this Okay, not bad So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck